Hey, I'm Faraz and today I'll be talking about cash flow and how you can make it in Power BI. We have always talked about the reports and Primavera P6, how you can make a cash flow in that. So why do you want to make this in Power BI? Power BI gives you an option to apply filters to it, have your report function in a dynamic way and once you have all the activities, activity codes into it, you can just uh, manipulate your data to get the desired output. So we have a block down here for the cash flow where you can get all the files to follow along. So let's dive into it. The most important thing is your Primavera P6 schedule should have a cost loaded to it. As you can see here, we have a house construction project which has only a substructure right now and it has a budgeted total cost of $37,500. Once you have loaded the cost to your P6, we will go to resource assignment here. You can see here under the resource assignment, I have aligned my sheet in a certain way. You have to align your sheet also in this way if you have a different project or we have a files in the blog post below. You can go to the files and follow along with it. So we have here an activity ID, activity name, resource ID. To edit this, you just right click here, go to columns and customize and bring these columns in from here. Similarly, on the right hand side, I have budgeted cost. This can be brought up here by going to spreadsheet field under the customize and you can go to time interval and under the cost you can get the budgeted cost from here as you can see here it's right here hit apply also the time scale i have set to weekly because i want the cash flow weekly you can set it up to monthly as well based on your project so i'll right click here under the time scale we can see here we have date in interval which is month and week that is what we want hit apply okay and you have your sheet ready so it's month and week and now what I'll do, I'll remove the work breakdown structure here. This is also very important that you don't have any work breakdown structure for this activity because we are importing it to Power BI. So we have the list of activity. I'll go to group and sort under the customize. I will make sure there is no WBS here. So you just have to select none, hit apply, okay. So your sheet is ready here. Now you need to do is copy it and paste it into Excel. So we'll go here, select everything, copy. I will open a new Excel sheet here and I'll just hit on paste. As you can see here now, we have our cost distribution monthly in an Excel sheet. We'll keep this thing as it is. You will just save it for now. And I will save it here on desktop as Power BI import and hit save. So this sheet is saved here. I don't have to edit anything here. I don't have to manipulate any data here. I will import it as it is to Power BI now. So I'll open Power BI. We have our Power BI here. We'll go to blank reports. Now under blank report, you can see nothing here. We just have simple dashboard. We'll go to get data, get the Excel workbook because we have copied the data from P6 to Excel. So we will go to Excel workbook and I will go to the desktop where I have saved the file and I will hit Power BI import. It will take a bit of time and it will import all the data in Power BI. As you can see here, we have Power BI import sheet one. I'll select this sheet one and I will go to transform data. So now we are in transform Power Query data in Power BI. Here you can see the columns have not been transferred to the header. So to do that, we'll just click here, use first row as header. With this option, all the headers will be transferred to the column and we have activity ID, activity name, resource ID and we have the other distribution of cost and everything. In this now, I will select everything by control A. I'll go to transform and I'll choose detect data type just to detect all the data types here. One more thing you, you need to be careful about is all the 
cost distribution here is distributed in row we want everything in column because power bi ca calculates or prepare reports everything on the column format so here we have activity id activity name resource id spreadsheet field in the column format but you can see the cost are distributed in row format so to change it into column i'll select the columns here till here go to tra transform and i have unpivot column option i'll select unpivot other columns so once you select this everything has been structured in the form of column now we can rename it rename this columns as date and we can rename this column as cost and you can see the format here is not correct so i will just correct this format click here and change it to date so now we have a correct format for each column once you have done this and you are happy with the formatting go to home and hit on close and apply it will take some time to apply the changes here it's loading So all the data has been imported from Power Query to our Power BI main dashboard. You can go in the table view and see your data here. It takes a bit of time to import. Yeah, here it is. And you can see the data. You have the cost here. You have the date and you have all the activity IDs here. Similarly, on model view, you can see you have only one sheet right now. So it's showing one sheet only. I'll go back to the dashboard and now I want to create a cash flow here. Cash flow histogram can be created, but we have bunch of chart here. I will use line and stack column I can use, or I can use line and cluster column. Either of the one of the, your choice, you can use it. So I'm gonna use line and cluster column chart here. You can see here, we have our chart, and now I want to fill in some data here. Dates will go to the X axis, and our cost it will go to the y axis here so i'll go it to the column y axis you can see here the cost distribution here is by year now i want it weekly so to do, do that changes i will go to date here on the x axis and select the dates here now we have weekly distribution but still you can see that the dates are not distributed in the way we want so we can do some formatting with this chart to make it look better. So what you can do here is go to format visual and in the X axis under the type, you have to select categorical in this way. You can get a categorical representation of your chart. Same way you can format your chart in different way in different colors in the format tab. So that's all for now. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for us. Hey, we just launched a brand new Power BI course. You can find all the details in the link below this video. Head over to planacademy.com and check it out. If you like this video, give us a like and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.